you know, enlightened recent news, we're not going to play any more Live Alive. Yeah, yeah, we're going to just go on and play Final Fantasy VII, because people are totally not tired of that, are they? No, we could play the original, and then we can move into the remake, and then we can move into the remake that's done before the other remake is done, and then we could play some of that Fortnite one. Welcome back to Live Alive. I just had to get that rant out. Previously, uh, things went poorly. Hash is dead from the plague. Strabo is crushed under rocks. We fought a demon that was really powerful, and he killed half the team. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Most of the people die in this case. At least we still have the garlic cleric. Oh, and uh, Psymaster wants me to tell you that if you fight OD10 and use info research on her, you activate a pissy boss mode, and it, that might be a spoiler to the whole statue room thing that we saw. We gotta go back to the king. Fission was mailed. And it wasn't good. And you know what? I forgot to loot all that gear off of Hash before he died. Darn. I mean, I, I'm kind of glad that I did, actually, because it's plague written. It would have to be majorly disaffected, and I don't think this kingdom could do that. Yeah, we're back. Um, everything is fine here now. How are you? We killed the demon. News travels fast. I think a demon gloated. Told them what happened to Hash. And, you know, Strabo. But all they're worried about is Hash. It, the, the demon is truly alive, and most of my friends are dead. Oh, I'm sure the king knows by now. Ugh. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a hard sell as the hero thing. Yeah, he died. I have his sword now. That means I'm the new hero. Look, we almost got totaled the last time, and that was just an illusion. Speaking of which, we should equip that uh, that Bryon. And I don't have Hash's armor. We could loot some armor from the castle now that we're the hero, but. Nah. King, how do you feel about this? Yeah, we didn't have cure disease. Strabo failed his deck save. And there was a, a, a Tarrasque, a really big one. And yeah, the Demon Lord's still alive, too. With Alicia. Well, at least we get free in for our failed mission, but no gold. There's no gold, ever. I kind of want your hero shield there, Uranus. Because you weren't very heroic. We did level up a little bit. He has Sanctuary. Not really what we're going to be using it for. Because it has a really long charge time. But I did pick up some new abilities here. Like the Mirror Drive, which is a counter. We got the spindle attack that um, Hash used to have. Orsted was watching and learning how to be a proper fighter. Well, might as well take a long rest to uh, heal up. Get ready for the big bad evil guy. He's still got that princess. He's still doing evil. Wait, what is... Strabo? I missed these steps. I'm fine. Let's get going. He's alive! Uranus! I just saw him! Everybody's worried about Hash. Maybe he would be putting more effort into the team if he cared about him more, huh? I'll go talk to him. What? Evil Lord! Get you the hot bulls of sword to die! Nope. Boss music? Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna hammer you to death. Take that. Oh, wow, that was easy. Brian's stronger than I thought it was. Oh, no. It was another illusion! 
Oh, that's bad. That is real bad. That's gonna be hard to explain. Hi. I think I got Phantasma forced. I can explain. I didn't do it. Come on. Uh, 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 hi, everybody. Look, we could talk this out. If you would just give me a moment to explain, I could tell you what really happened. It was the Demon Lord did a thing, and the, the king is dead now. And also I saw Strabo. No, he's still alive. I saw him. Oh, now they're just making up conspiracy theories. I hate those! I'll kill you! And there we go. Well, that misinformation just spread like a Facebook post. Uranus, help me out here. Give me some garlic bread. That'll prove I'm not a demon. Do you... Do you guys not know who Uranus is? He's kind of... He's kind of famous. You can't note them out of existence. They love garlic bread. I'll demon you! That ain't working. Crap! Fly, you fools! Fly! He's pulling a Gandalf for me. I'm gonna get out of here. This is bad. Uh, hi, I'm not a demon. Crap. You see, this is how this happens. I thought humans were supposed to be the critical thinkers. But no, they just believe whatever they were told. That was my intention, you idiots. A lone fighter. Framed for a crime he didn't commit. Well, no, we totally killed the king. That We definitely did that. I'm talking about the demon part. Even though it wasn't intentional that we killed the king. It was just... It, uh, illusions. Illusions do those things. You think it don't be like that, but it do. Sometime it do. I guess I'm gonna have to feed on slugs or something now. I definitely can't go to that kingdom anymore. Any other ones, um, hanging around anywhere that I could find and hang out in? Familia Village seems to be a place for wash-ups like me. That's where Uranus was. Also, we got guards here. These are regular guards. They don't take a lot of damage. Also, they're not very brave, so they kind of just move around mostly. But hey, if they're gonna follow me... To get what's coming to them. Oh, I know who will believe me. Fanboy! You believe me, right? I'm totally not a demon. Not you guys, too! Again, news travels fast around here. Come on, guys, let's talk about this. If I was a demon, your house would be on fire already. I wouldn't have come in here to talk to you. It's not true. It's definitely not true. Are you not listening to the words coming out of my mouth? Think for yourself, kid. Unlike these sheep... I don't use that word lightly, but that's exactly how they're acting. I guess I could live in Uranus's house now. I mean, they won't stalk me out here, will they? I mean, they couldn't have found Uranus if they were, you know, went one village, village over. I could live like a, a monk. I could... Hey, garlic bread god, are you looking for, like, a new, um, a new servant? Because garlic bread powers seem pretty cool. I like garlic bread. But you believe I'm a demon too? I hate you. 
You know what? I hate garlic bread. It smells like poop. Oh, that's gonna get me smitten. <sighs> it's, there's nothing for it. I need to go back and save Uranus. I gotta do it. The entire point of coming out here is to go see the kid and find out his parents are afraid of you too. And you gotta go back and like, own up to it. I am back. Kinda. I only have eight ints. So now we have to wait three days and Luca will break us out. And then we could go time traveling. Around this time, I will be traveling through time as Link, and he wouldn't be in jail. He would get, be getting robbed by lizard folk, I think. Oh well. Hey, Uranus! How did they put you in that cell? There's clearly no doors there. It's me. I did a stupid... I tried telling them that too, and they don't seem to want to listen. Also, is this bars, or is this wall in front of me? Am I just talking to a wall? Because it looks like it's trying to be bars, but it's not quite working, because SNES. Oh, they deprived him of garlic bread. Yeah, they get one dumb idea, and then it spreads like wildfire. Misinformation is the real pandemic here, people. You see, this the game is topical, and it was written in the 90s. It's a Kojima thing going on here. So, do you want to plan some kind of breakout? Oh, okay, it's bars. I can see you now, hi. I don't feel like protecting, they're stupid. With the last of his energy, he casts Knock! Everyone in 300 feet heard that. Oh no, Uranus! I'll find you some garlic bread, buddy. You'll be fine. But first I'm gonna have this flashback. No, we failed Princess Alicia. I hope you like long flashbacks, because the flashback is pretty much just entire scene over again. Like the whole thing. I had to eat an entire Octorok, I remember that now. The Octorok is still in my stomach. It's been a long day. Again, I didn't say that. And this is how all that crap started. That one little theme. That one little kiss. And then a Dragnon showed up. And now she's evil with the Lord. The Lord is evil. We gotta go back to Devil's Peak. We'll take him on single-handedly. Do that for you, Uranus. Excelsior! I've opened the door, you're bad at locks! Did he seriously not hear that conversation that went on? Because it was a very loud conversation. He unlocked the door and everything. Inept guards, am I right? Again with this demon crap! Alright, fine. You want demon? I'll give you demon. I'll engage all of you. Oh, someone's bold. I can counter with my abilities now, thanks to that mirror thing. Also, there's a mirror counter itself. And you could loot this sword, but you know what? I got Bryon. What do I need a sword for? Oh, I forgot to equip that hero shield. Maybe if I equip the hero shield, they'll think, like, for five seconds, go like, oh, it's a hero! Oh, wait, no, that hero's a demon. It'll work for a little while. It'll be a distraction. 
Also, you can go pretty much anywhere in this castle, but if you try to go to, like, the throne room, there's a lot of random battles between there and here. And they're all single battles. So, you'll be fighting, like, a single knight. Yeah, it doesn't consolidate. It's back to the Oonga Boonga thing again. You know, remember that hallway? That was like months ago, but yeah. It's just this hallway, but instead they're wearing metal. Instead of loincloths, and sometimes lizards. But let's not get into that. I'll never forget naked. It's not like I'll never forget this betrayal by this kingdom. I don't even want to loot their armor. It'd be too much work. I just want to get out of here. Oh, now you guys want to fight me. Before, you wanted to run away. Like wussies. You should have ran away. Like wussies. I'm going to Devil's Peak to do evil. I might as well lean into it. You're not going to believe me anyway. I like to think that Orsted was just knocking these guys out instead of, like, brutally murdering them, because that probably doesn't help his image too much. Well, off we go. Luckily, we have, like, 99 healing items, so we should be good. Even though we're still wearing leather armor, and we're about to fight a whole bunch of demons. A whole bunch of demons, I said. I know their name now, it's a Light Rider. Because they're light. And they're writing. Get it? Yeah, welcome to Demon's Peak. I'm gonna come back and help those birds, like, take over humankind or something. But first, I have a, a Dark Lord to deal with. And we just have to retread the path we took before. We gotta fight these guys. I don't think we fought the Spoder before, though. It's like a, a spider demon down there, shooting the web. He knows how to shot web. Oh, we got us in cage. It would be great to have some more of those hash abilities. Like Spindle here. See, there he is. I killed him. He was not a spider friend. Dragon Sword will help. Actually, I'm going to do all the battles in here because EXP is important. Also, he could learn Razor Wind, which is really helpful. Spindle can knock people away, and that demon dragon bat thing can use Sonic Boom, and it can kind of hurt. Dragon Sword is a fire-based attack that hits in a line. You said in things that could die to fire. Uh, these, yeah, these demons are kind of a pain in the butt, though. Ow! I need to use one of my 99 healing items. The guide I read says to grab 99 healing items, but I think it's a little bit of an overkill. Because I don't think I've ever used, like, more than 20. I'm being a little bit more liberal this time around, because... Well, I got 99 healing items. I might as well use them. Hammer power is still quite strong now. It also spins enemies in place. Oh, that... Wow, that was powerful! How about we don't do that? I need to get away from that. I'd rather get hit by the tail. That was a potent fire breath! 358 damage? Really? Probably because my armor is kind of poop. I'd rather get in melee range with these guys. You see, he's trying to get on my diagonal so he could fire breath me again. I'm not letting it happen. Try to close distance with these guys if you can. Don't be on their diagonal. That'll hurt. That's a little tip from Chocobo to you. Okay, where do I go from here? This way, right? Yep, there's that door. And also, save before you go up to those doors. Because they are all now mini-bosses! There's four mini-bosses, and then we get to fight the Dark Demon King guy. This one's claustrophobia. The fear of tight spaces, and you have to get in tight spaces to fight her. And she's weak to hammer power. 
She has throw down, knock you backwards. She also has an earthquake attack. But she also has a very low health. So a few hammer powers and she's dead. Yeah, you got to see all the parts of her. She's scantily clad, like all 90s RPGs. Except she has stone fists. Welcome to this part again. Ah, oh, the memories of having a party. Instead, now we're a one-man show. Bird, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill you. For the experience points. I apologize for this. And also, we can murder fairy. It's like, giant fairies. Giant moth fairies that are also scantily clad. Killed them on principle. And we got Razor Sonic! It's like, uh, the more badass version of Sonic. Razor Sonic's really good at AOB. It has a slow charge... It has a fast charge time. And it hits pretty hard. And now for another battle. We got Scotophobia, the fear of the dark. Now, remember what I said in Earthbound? Blunt weapon attacks work on darkness. And it's the same here. Use hammer power. Which, we're using the flat of the sword. It's not a Mordow. A Mordow's different. You hold onto the blade and you hit them with the hilt. Remember that short-lived game? It was kind of like uh, Call of Duty, but with knights. Yeah, it didn't last very long. All I remember of it is that somebody could play the Doom theme on like a bard loop. That's all I've ever seen of it. Except for the word Mordow. But we got a Demon's Cloud, which is actually an item. And I think it's a rare item. I promise I'll use that on the final boss. Unlike the Eden's Apple that I lost the last time. You know what, we should level up here a little bit. Let's see what's here. Nope, it's Arachnophobia. I'm not scared of spiders. I'm not running because I'm scared of spiders. I just don't want to fight spider. And again, there's another one of these doors here, so make sure you save. Because it's right here. Actually, I think there's some uh, new enemies deeper in, aren't they? No, just arachnophobias again. Again, I'm not running because I'm scared of spiders. In fact, uh, you should be like level 11, level 12 before you fight this next one. So I'm just going to see what enemies are here. And then I'm going to switch over to my, like, uh, my farming save state that I have. I also have another backup save state in case this doesn't work out. I went, I went too fast. I forget what the phobia is for these guys here. The, the, the bat, moth, dragon dudes, winged kobolds, whatever they're supposed to be. Draconophobia. I guess that's a uh, fear of dragons and fear of insects. Is entophobia. You get the pattern here. Or they're all named after phobias, even the mini bosses. What I was trying to trigger here is there is a, an enemy called Cyanophobia, and he's not a very good boy. And I was going to show him that he's a bad boy. Because it's literally just a dog demon. Alright, save state think time. There is... That's not it. That is not it at all. No, that's the wrong place. Here we go. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one too. That's the spoiler territory. Hold on a second, I lost my save. There we go. I farmed myself up to level 12. Why did I do that? Well, it's because you get the jump shot at level 11, and hexaflange at level 12, and these are very good mini-boss killers. If you don't have them, it's very likely that these next two bosses can kill you. So it's a good idea to have them. Because we're fighting Acrophobia. The fear of heights. And there's a container here, too. If you want to do it this the easy way, you're going to have to kill the container. Jump shot will make this easy. Or uh, maybe dragon sword. But these enemies have boomerangs. And they don't take many turns. They're just durable. 
I mean, Jump Shot is good because it does double damage. And what you need to do, if you want to do this the hard way, is kill all the Acrophobias. I also picked up some extra items, and I just realized... Yeah, I lost that, um, I lost that thing again. That, uh, Demon's Cloud. Well, I guess I broke my promise. Oh well, it was misinformation anyway. I misinformed you. Don't believe everything everyone tells you. Oh, Acrobat! That does a lot of damage. And it makes them, like, uh, jump backwards and stuff. But these enemies are, like, really slow. So slow you can actually get out of the way of their boomerang attack before they could even get in range for it. And then you can pop in a few jump shots while they're trying to realign. It's like they take one turn, maybe every two or three of your own turns. See, that one moved up there. This one's probably gonna die from a jump shot. It's like Zelda 2. I'm just, like, bouncing on their heads. Just going boing, boing. And this one I could probably kite around, because I'm so fast. I, want, I actually wanted you to come over here so I could jump shot you. I think I'm in boomerang range now. I am. Sadly, boomerang and jump shot have the same range. But it's better to getting dropped. The acrobat does a lot more damage. One more of these should do it. Oh, nope, never mind. And let's hexaflange this thing. Level 12 ability. Arguably the best one. It has some nice flash and some nice damage. And if I did this right... Nope. Nope, didn't get it. Well, it is a random chance to get it, but they're supposed to drop flame armor if you do it the hard way. Luckily, I got the flame armor, so I'm just going to switch to that now. So now I got flame armor. And I accidentally stole holy armor on this save because I was kind of worried about dying. But this has way more defense and a lot of IQ. Not like Orsted is ever going to be using magic anyway. But oh well, we really only need like one holy armor for what's coming up next, so it's okay if I looted one. Wow, there's a lot of enemies in here. Would be a pity if someone used Hexaflange on them. Like this. Hexaflange has no loading time. You could just spam it. It's a melee ranged attack. And of course we still have Engage and Jump Shot if we need it. Yeah, you can't attack. What now? Oh, that, that now. He can't arm, he can't leg, but he can spit. Lizard spit. Don't let the lizard spit. Don't let the bird spit, either. The bird also spit. Come on, man. I wanted a truce with you, but now I have to kill you. You spit on me. Jerk. So now we got Acrophobia out of the way. There's one last final boss. Before the Demon King. And of course we're gonna have to save. Oh, hey, there you are! Bad boy, you go squish now. That's animal abuse. Ah, I totally hexaflanged this guy. It's just a dog demon, but they call it Sinophobia anyway. Sinophobia is a uh, fear of dogs, right? I'm not wrong on that one. Well, here's the last mini-boss. Well, I don't intend to, well, that's why I saved. Gynophobia! Gynophobia is a piece of work. And you kind of have to fight her like a knight chess piece, because she has a nasty attack called Sweet Whisper that'll put you to sleep. If you stand either too right and down, or too down and right, you could uh, avoid her attacks entirely. So you fight like a night piece in the L shape. 
So right now I'm in her blind spot. That's why she's gonna move. Stop moving with me. Quit it. Don't use Sweet Whisper. She's using Sweet Whisper. Jerk. That puts you to sleep. And then she gets in melee range with Melting Love. That heals her. That gives you a chance to spindle her away and you can repeat your Hexaflange attack. Get away from me! Shoo! Be gone! I did pick up an item, it's called the Alispix Biscuit, in case I need it. This thing right here. It's an awesome heal! See, at least I got to use one item. Sadly, you're gonna have to play the game if you want to know what an Edom's Apple does, or a uh, Dark Cloud. But I bet it's not anything, like, really great. Hexaflange can out-damage her heal, but she can still Sweet Whisper you, and that's bad. Quit it, I'm going up here. Get away from me. She's called the Fear of Women for a reason. You have to fear this woman. I don't even know what this thing does. I'm tempted to use this thing. See this thing? It's usable for some reason. Ah, this thing won't work. This thing definitely won't work. I should have Hexaflash, because I was going to be in a range anyway. It's just going to be a free turn for her. Quit it! Spindle her! Give some time to heal. Actually, I can Hexaflange her first, because she has to move into position and attack me. And I could get an extra one because she turned around instead. And now I can heal. Or throw this thing at her. But she kind of stays, like, right on you. It's really hard to get away from her. Especially if she gets you into a corner. Or double Sweet Whispers you. That's just rude. And this is also why you save. That's especially why you save. Don't make me throw this thing at you. I'll totally throw this thing at you. So this is a bad this is a bad turn of events right now. Stay away! I got Hexaflange and I know how to use it. I hit you with it. Doesn't matter where I move from here, she's gonna sweet whisper me. Blarg! Orsted can't help you now. Please leave a message after the beep. That's why you save. Because that's how quickly it could go wrong. Let's try this again! Even with my best laid plans! My Hexaflange just still failed me. Also, I think she takes away, like, your, uh, HP, or uh, your power. Because that initial Hexaflange did a heck of a lot more damage than everything else. Ah, you didn't sleep me. That's an extra Hexaflange for you. Quit it. I hate being asleep. Bonus Hexaflange! She made some wrong moves, and I get to capitulate on them. This battle's going a lot better. Especially since I could get out of her range and make her waste a move. I'm trying to track where else I could stand from her. But she's dead already! So I showed you both the bad way it could go and the best way it could go. Because I'm awesome. And that's all the phobias. Not quite sure why all these statues of the former bosses are here. Seems kind of ominous. But we never fought this guy before. Secret passage! Where can this lead? 
That's a wow, 35 minutes. It's okay. This is the final boss, after all, of the final bonus chapter. It's the Demon Lord himself. The real one this time. Come on now, so I can hexaflange you. Strabo? But how? It was all an illusion. He found the secret entrance. He wanted all the glory. Strabo faked the collapse. So you really just locked yourself in a room with the guy with the plague? So I hope you get the plague, you jerk. You deserve it. Of course, he's gonna die to worst instead. Uh, this illusion's getting a little intense, guys. I bet he was behind the other stuff, too. You know, like the, the fake demon lord? The Dragnon kidnapping the princess? The reason why the demons just stopped attacking us when we were leaving? Strabo probably has some kind of, like, charm demon. And we fell for it. The bad guy was in our party the whole time. That was actually kind of genius. And he tricked us into killing the king. I mean, I didn't have anywhere else to go. Did you see the misinformation going on there? You, like, lit a wildfire in that place. Is this what this is all about? He's a sore loser! I kind of forgot, actually. So in a short amount of time, he became a level 20 sorcerer. Oh, now he's Sans. And instead of Megalovania, it's Megalomania! Damn, I wish I could add those items to throw at you, like an Eden's apple. But instead, I'm throwing this thing at you. Take that. Wow, that was terrible, but at least I got to throw it at him. So you don't want to be in his counter range. He has some nasty abilities. And they lay elementals all over the place. Huh, where did I get another Alice Biscuit? Well, I'll use it. If you take his vertical, his horizontal, and his diagonal, you could find out where you could hit this guy without getting countered. Like, right here should be safe. we will have to move into position. Yeah, right there. So I can stand here, and up there. And he won't be able to counter me from here, either. Of course, this is a sorcerer. He's all about the meta magic. His counter is a quick spell. He's breaking his own rules. He's not allowed to cast two spells in the same turn. But he does anyway. His AC is still really terrible. His armor class is just pathetic. And you know, he didn't really build on his constitution, either. I was really hoping that would kill you, but I'm pretty sure this will. How many more attacks can you take? He's crouching! He's in death range! But he went pissy boss mode on me. Ouch! Rewinding that, because that really should have killed him. That really, really should have killed him. Ah, he was jerking around there for a second. Did you see that? No, stay away from me. 
I want to get out of your counter radius. Yeah, that guy was crouching, and he took a blow, and he was still going. And this is how you kite the Strabo until he dies. Sorceress, am I right? Oh, it's totally time. I can't believe the final boss is just ordinary dude. It's some kind of inferiority complex. And Alicia! We killed the jerk! Uh, okay... I did! I brought a whole bunch of guys, but, you know, most of them died. It's not my fault I didn't know about a secret passage. And he, you know, he kept that all to himself. He didn't tell the party about it. He was very selfish. He wanted the glory. Look, he was his own loser. Who dumps dexterity? It's kind of vital. What are you doing with that? Holy crap, she just Julieted herself. Oh, this got dark! This is not how medieval RPGs are supposed to go. I'm supposed to, like, get the girl and stop the Ganondorf. And, you know, the Ganondorf was a sorcerer this whole time. Our real friends are the Ganondorfs we meet along the way. Could it be that she had the hots for Straybo this whole time? And she's been lying to us? On that balcony before the Dragnaught attacked. She lied to us then, too. And with a kiss. Kinda lied to us about the whole plague thing. The Strabo really didn't believe in us. The princess hates our guts. And so does most of the kingdom. Things are looking kinda hopeless. And let's not forget misinformation everywhere. Like, literally everybody but the kid thinks we're some kind of demon. Because the people that didn't just died. I don't feel like protecting them anymore. Still, I can't believe they didn't hear that. Krista, what are you going to do now? Oh, now we have to open up that wound. He didn't do it! It was illusion! Just all, one little spark is all it took. For everybody to believe he's a demon. And that we killed the king. Even though we totally did that, we just didn't know we were doing it. You guys know what magic is in this kingdom, right? And that guy got a what? That, that's the wildest idea right there. That's the one that started it all. He had the plague, and Strabo's a jerk. Of course, no one's gonna listen to us. No one in this entire kingdom's gonna listen to him now. Especially since the princess died like right in front of me. He's probably gonna get blamed for that too. This seems like a dire situation. Yeah, 
It's a face heel turn. The good guy has gone bad. I'll be frank, they kind of just did put it on themselves. These humans sucked. And that's how he's born. Odio. Odio was Orsted the entire time. Double twist. I didn't think a chapter would end like this, now did you? It's a bad end for once. I wonder what they're gonna do from here. It's like it's it, that's the final chapter. Really, that's the note they're gonna end on. Is hey hey he's he's bad guy now. Here's the credits. You did it. You made bad guy. Now you know why you were fighting all those bosses through the entire game. It was all just Orsted. Because he got kicked in the nuts, like, several times. By everyone. And the people that didn't do it just died on him. It's gotta be a better message to send than that. That's a really terrible moral. Humans are bad, and the good ones just die. be continued? Yes, there is more to it than that. It's the final, final chapter. I'm just gonna go ahead and save right here. Because there's something special about the final, final chapter. You get to choose a protagonist from your list of seven. And this jerk. He's different than the others, and we're going to be doing Orsted's ending first. And then I'm probably going to choose one of these other guys. Who knows who I could pick? The next time on Live Alive, the bad guy gets his show. Good night, folks.